So now that Mike Perry has won his debut at Triad Combat, I feel like he's put himself in the shot calling position of his career and he can kind of do whatever he wants to do next moving forward. But what does Mike Perry want to do and what does Mike Perry do next? That's the question we're all asking right now. So I'm going to break down that for you in today's video, which is the three key possible career pathways and futures of Mike Perry moving forwards. Over here, we got the safety lane. This is not going to involve the biggest names that you can find to match up with Mike Perry. They're not going to involve the biggest paydays, but he can keep making that quarter of a million dollar paycheck that he made for his fight at Triad Combat, which is a lot of money for Mike Perry and very good for Mike Perry. I'm very happy for him. He can keep making that wage against names that aren't the biggest in the world, but he, that he can probably beat very easily in that Triad Combat ring or maybe in a boxing ring as well. So that's the safety lane. You've got the fast track option down here, which is even if they're a dangerous matchup, just go straight ahead and take it and get the big fights that you can get and get the big star power fights that are going to bring you that extra paycheck. Maybe he can get a 500k paycheck against the first one, then in a million dollar paycheck against the second one. And over here, you've got the star power lane. This is not based on risk. This is just what are the biggest names that are actual combat athletes that Mike Perry can take on to get a big star power name like other names that will be on that star power list. Because if he beats them, he takes their star power and he moves on and takes a bigger star on in the combat sports world because we're in an absolute circus in the combat sports world right now. So that's the star power lane. We're going to start over here with a safety lane. No, this is the most boring of all of them. But I still think it's quite interesting. The first step for Mike Perry, if he wants to have a very calm and fought out career and keep winning bouts, is to take on a man by the name of Julian Lane, who looks very, very strange in this picture. I don't know why he looks so strange in that picture, but he does look that strange. Julian Lane, of course, is the guy that said, let me bang, bro, on the Ultimate Fighter long ago. He's kind of famous because of it, and they've sort of entertained the idea of a matchup between the two of them. I know Julian Lane's currently doing BKFC. Maybe we could see Mike Perry go to BKFC against a guy like Julian Lane. I reckon Mike Perry would pretty easily beat Julian Lane. Now, Julian Lane is a tough guy. You know, he can throw hands. He's not like a YouTuber who turned to it. Like, he's a real tough guy who can throw hands, and he is a capable fighter. But I do believe that Mike Perry would pretty easily beat Julian Lane. And if he wants a free paycheck to take on Julian Lane in the triad combat sphere in that triangle ring, I kind of don't even mind the idea of it. I'm a big fan of triad combat now. I would like to see Mike Perry versus Julian Lane in that triad combat ring. Let's make it happen. That's a good next fight for him. The press conference would be very funny. He could headline like a fight night show for them. I reckon Mike Perry could sell out an arena with some help of some other people on the card as well. Maybe a Donald Cerrone versus Carlos Condit in the co-main events. But Mike Perry versus Julian Lane is a good next step for him. But if he moves on past Julian Lane and does get the victory... Let's say he gets a KO win and boosts his stock even higher and gets a call out and maybe calls out a guy like, I don't know. But his next matchup could be Diego Sanchez. I understand he's dying right now. I really do understand that Diego Sanchez is maybe... Who knows if he's going to make it, but if he does make it, I can guarantee that Diego Sanchez, if offered $250,000, would take on Mike Perry in triad combat. So, if he does beat Julian Lane, he can call out Diego Sanchez. They've been talking back and forth for a while now, anyway. I saw, I saw that they had some DMs back and forth. Diego Sanchez has even been calling out Dylan Dennis for a matchup, because he wants that payday there as well. I feel like they could make that fight a triad combat. The winner gets a guy who I just mentioned and kind, and kind of spoiled at the end of this safety lane. Dylan Dennis, the safest big money fight there is in combat sports right now, in my opinion. He's a jiu-jitsu guy. He wants to get into combat sports. He wants to get into boxing against Jake Paul. So I don't even mind the idea of if Mike Perry beats Julian Lane, KOs him, boosts his stock even higher. Everyone loves Mike Perry, takes no damage whatsoever, turns immediately around against Diego Sanchez, who's hopefully recovered I really do hope Diego Sanchez recovers from his situation right now. But if he does recover, he's going to be looking to get back in there for a paycheck because he's not in the UFC anymore and he's not making any money and he does have a daughter to feed. So he will be getting back in the combat sports world. He's been calling out Dylan Dennis. If he does beat Julian Lane, call out Diego Sanchez, who he's probably going to beat as well because it's Diego Sanchez and Mike Perry's probably going to KO him in the triad combat ring. And if he can beat Diego Sanchez... Then he can take on Dylan Dennis, which is a big name who will bring him some money. He'll probably get him like a 400k paycheck compared to these two quarter of a million dollar paychecks beforehand. Boost up his contract nicely. Bring attention to it. If he beats Dylan Dennis, he's in a position to call out big, big names who are going to move on to next in the other pathways. But if he beats Dylan Dennis, then he can start calling the shots. He's beaten the internet troll. He's got all of the internet on his side. And he'll start moving forward against some really big names. But that's the safety lane done. Let's talk about those big names. 
name opponents in the fast track lane. If Mike Perry wants to get right into it right now immediately with a really big name, who's kind of dangerous in all honesty as well, but he can beat him. Tyron Woodley immediately in triad combat in a boxing ring, whatever he wants to do, Mike Perry's calling the shots. Tyron Woodley wants to compete in any sport. He said he's going to compete in four different promotions, four different sports in 2022. If Mike Perry wants to get in there with Tyron Woodley in May or April of next year, I will watch that in a triad combat ring. I'll watch it in a BKFC ring. And it's a good matchup. And they have beef. And Woodley has got this whole, like, Twitter culture because, like, of the Jake Paul situation. He got all that Twitter culture on his side. He's got all of black Twitter on his side right now. And Mike Perry called him the N-word on video multiple times. And Mike Perry uses the N-word a lot. And Tyron Woodley has the whole of black Twitter on his side right now. And they will make that an entertaining and compelling matchup with a good build-up with some storyline of Tyron Woodley taking out the racist cultural appropriator in Mike Perry. I can already see the tweets as we speak. Mike Perry, Tyron Woodley, there's a little bit of spice there for the media to get a hold of and make a big deal out of, even though it's nothing really. Mike Perry, Tyron Woodley, a great matchup next. Plus, Tyron Woodley's looking for a matchup right now. And if they offered him 300k against, J uh, against Mike Perry... He'll take that money, I reckon. Who would you rather take on? Douglas Lima at Bellator? Go back to the UFC against a top 10 opponent? Or fight Mike Perry in triad combat for the same amount of money, if not more? He's going to take the Mike Perry option all day, every day. And if Mike Perry can get past Tyron Woodley in a boxing ring, let's say, and go 1-0 in boxing, I'm not even joking you. He can be a potential rebound opponent for Jake Paul. Now, I do understand Jake Paul has a rematch clause with Tommy Fury. And maybe if he beats Tommy Fury, he won't be looking at the Mike Perrys of the world anymore. He'll be looking onto names like Nate Diaz and bigger stars like that. Maybe even a Conor McGregor or something or even a bigger name in boxing that I don't quite know about. But there are big names that Jake Paul will be looking at if he does beat Tommy Fury. But if he loses to Tommy Fury and doesn't want to take the rematch because he realizes he's taken a step too far against an actual boxer and doesn't win... And doesn't feel like he could win a rematch, so doesn't even activate the rematch clause. He could fall back against a Mike Perry who's just, let's say, who knows, KO'd a, Mike, uh, a Tyron Woodley in a, in a boxing ring. If Mike Perry beats a Tyron Woodley by KO in a boxing ring and calls out Jake Paul on the microphone, that's obviously an option for Jake Paul. Jake Paul is in the business of taking low-risk bouts with high paychecks, and Mike Perry will sell a press conference against Jake Paul 100%, and that will sell a fight as well, and I'm looking forward to that if it does happen too, because they have history again. They sparred with each other. They talked trash back and forth. Uh, Jake Paul's even called out Mike Perry before for a fight. He even came down to training. Mike Perry even admitted that Jake Paul got the better of him in a boxing ring for the first three rounds, but then Mike Perry started to figure him out as the rounds went on. I feel like that'd be a good fight, a good skill matchup for Jake Paul as well, because Mike Perry's not the best fighter in the world, but he is quite savage and people would respect you if you did beat him in a boxing fight so that could be a matchup that gets made in the fast track option but let's move immediately over as i stumble through my words here to the star power lane here's where things get real mike perry wants a good time a lot of money winnable matchups step by step i reckon this is how he could go about it dylan dennis first okay that's the immediate difference between the star power lane and the safety lane. These two names came before Dylan Dennis. Dylan Dennis was the big prize at the end of Mike Perry's career at triad combat or boxing. In the star power lane, Dylan Dennis comes first. Immediately get that matchup, and he could. You cannot deny that he could get that matchup right now. I know people are going to call this list dumb and this video idea dumb. But he really could get the matchup of Dylan Dennis next. Dylan Dennis has no one to fight right now. He's not going to immediately jump in there against Douglas Lima at Bellator. He needs a big paycheck against a winnable matchup. And he likes his chances in a boxing ring against Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley even. And even Michael Bisping, if he wants to back up the talk, let's send the contract over to Dylan Dennis against Mike Perry, who's a winnable matchup for him, even though I think Mike Perry would win that matchup 100%. Let's make the matchup happen. Mike Perry, Dylan Dennis, Mike Perry can silence the internet troll. Get a whole punch of star power. I've got him. I've already sto uh, spoken about this in the safety lane as to why he would take the fight and what he would get from winning it. But that's a huge fight for Mike Perry. And I could see there being a fun press conference with a lot of hype because even though people don't like Dylan Dennis, his absence from combat sports has hyped up his return even more. There's no return if he isn't absent. 
That's obvious. The fact that he's been out on the sidelines just yapping and having all of these headlines break about being choked out at the bar and stuff like that and all of these conundrums that he's gotten himself into and the clash that he had with Jake Paul, that fight could be made. And not only could it be made, but it could be made on the undercard of a Jake Paul fight card. Maybe Jake Paul beats Tommy Fury, gets the matchup with Nate Diaz, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz, co-main event, Mike Perry versus Dylan Dennis. Sign me up. I'll watch the card any day, all day. Next matchup for Mike Perry, if he does win in the star power lane, is... And this is a big one. I'm so sorry. Nick Diaz. I can really see it happening. In triad combat, in boxing, in however they want to do it, I can really see this happening. I can really see Dana White giving Nick Diaz a call and saying, Hey, uh... Want to take off? Want to take on Chimaev? Like, and him just going, I'm done with MMA right now. I didn't feel good against Robbie Lawler. I don't like getting hit by four ounce gloves. I could see Nick Diaz going down the pathway of taking these boxing matches. I could even see a Nick Diaz versus Anderson Silva at some point in a Triller boxing match. It sounds so dumb, and I hate that this is the reality, but this could happen. Mike Perry versus Nick Diaz could happen, and it could open up an idea of a Nate Diaz-Mike Perry matchup afterwards as well, as so that you can say, like, the younger brother's here to redeem the older brother who's lost his touch a little bit. Now you can do Mike Perry versus Nate Diaz, but Mike Perry, Nick Diaz, I mean, you could even fucking do Mike Perry versus Darren Till if Darren Till loses his next fight, because Till is ready to be cut by the UFC anyway, and I don't see him going back to the regional scenes of MMA to work his way back into the UFC, so... If Darren Till loses again, by the time Mike Perry's beaten Dylan Dennis, let's say, they could make that Mike Perry Darren Till matchup in a boxing ring in triad combat, or they could do this Nick Diaz one because I do feel like Nick Diaz is done with MMA. He'll say he's retired from MMA for good. The UFC will go, oh, you're retired from MMA. We have no use for you. We're going to cut you from the UFC. We don't need you anymore. And then Nick Diaz is going to be like, oh, but I'm not retired from combat sports. Chuck me in a boxing ring. Give me 500k to fight Mike Perry, and I'll do it. And they'll probably do it because. Triller just fucking prints money. I fucking Biden. Moving on to another matchup that you could make if Mike Perry does beat these two names. Or even Woodley in this position. I will admit you can put Woodley in this position as well. After the Dylan Dennis matchup, you can go to Woodley next. But if he does beat two big names in the star power lane, he then opens himself up for a good matchup with Jake Paul. I do believe a Jake Paul matchup is something that definitely could happen down the line. And it's a big day, uh, payday for Mike Perry. Over here... 250k again, 250k again, 400k paycheck. Over here, 400k paycheck against Woodley to like a 500k paycheck against Jake Paul because he hasn't built his stock up enough. Over here, beats a Dylan Dennis for like a 300k paycheck to show up. Then beats like a Tyron Woodley or a Nick Diaz for a 500k paycheck to show up. Then he negotiates for like a million dollar paycheck against Jake Paul. If he's going to put his all into promoting it in a press conference and stuff like that. I could definitely see that stuff happening. And this could be the future of Mike Perry. Crazy future. Because if we're, I would have made this video a year ago, I would have been saying... And then we get the Tim Means rematch. And then the Mickey Gall rematch comes next in the safety lane. And, and then we move on and maybe we take on like a Nico Price or something in a fun matchup. And then we take on the Pons Nibio rematch or the Li Jing Liang coming off a loss. But now this is the reality for Mike Perry. And as long as he's getting paid more, good for him. Credit to Mike Perry. He's figured out the game. He's got it done. He's getting paid good money. Good for him. Quarter of a million to win that last matchup. Imagine if he takes on a big name. I had no idea who that boxer was. I know he was good. No idea who Michael Seals was. Only just remembered his name right now. Luckily. I'm actually lucky I remembered his name then. Michael Seals was the guy's name. No idea who he was before that fight. If he actually takes on some big names, Perry can bring the fucking paychecks. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Click that button up there. Toodle pip. I'll see you later. Goodbye.